welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. I'm Emily. I'm Kevin. And we just got back from Congaree National Park in South Carolina. So we're going to tell you guys something that we learned while we were there and then show you part of our trip. So Emily, do you want to start? Yes, please. Okay, good. Tell them something you learned. I learned about, what were those called again? Cypress knees? <laughs> yes. I did not know that they were there and I learned what they were for for the trees. They were actually for them to breathe like when the water came up. Um, things sticking up out of the ground over there by those trees? Yes. Those are the cypress knees. That's the knee or part of the root that comes from the tree that comes up above the ground or up above the water so the tree can breathe. It kind of looks like a stalagmite mm -hmm. that goes like up from the cave. Mm -hmm. I'll go and check it out. You, babe what did you learn i was surprised i learned that against what i would assume we went to the pretty much the middle of south carolina would not expect to find all the habitats and all the experiences of florida in the middle of south carolina but there were cypress trees cypress knees swamps pine trees and mosquitoes just like home so we got a complete 100 southern <laughs> florida style welcome to south carolina to start our park adventure um, other than that the park's a blast um, lots of decks to walk on so you're not actually walking in the muck or tripping over roots and stuff like that it's all elevated it's really nice um uh, clean just had an overall good time to go to the Congaree National Park, make sure you don't forget your bug spray like we did because unfortunately, it's actually kind of funny, there's a mosquito meter at the front of the park in the visitor center and it will tell you how bad the mosquitoes are. And a six is, it's a war zone. So it wasn't quite a war zone today, it was severe, um, which was still pretty rough and we didn't take bug spray with us. Nope, we sure didn't. So, if you're going to Concord National Park, do not forget your bug spray. It was kind of like a hidden gem. I would say so, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely not a national park that was on our bucket list. We had a really good time there, and I'm very glad that we did it. What about you? What was your favorite part of the whole Congaree National Park experience? Well, my favorite part is when I, like, when it was almost the end of the trip, and I got my badge. I was super excited. Yeah, I was pretty proud of you on that one.
a scale of 1 to 10, let's rate it. What are you going to rate the Congaree National Park on a scale of 1 to 10? Like 1 being don't waste your time going, 10 being oh my gosh, don't miss this. It's like the best thing ever. Okay, it wasn't absolutely the best thing ever, but I'm going to rate it an 8. That's pretty good. What about you? What would you rate it? I think that's fair. I would go a 7 or an 8. It's... It was a surprise. It was a hidden gem. Um, it teaches you a lot, but I think it'd been better with book spray. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna rate it a seven. I could definitely see it being an eight with some bug spray, or in maybe cooler weather when the bugs aren't as bad, or on a day when, like, if you could call ahead and say, "Hey, What's your mosquito, yeah, your mosquito meter is it a one to two? Because it was a four today when we went, so." Yeah. If you were able to go and it was like a one to two, then definitely go enjoy it, and the the park would by far be an eight. Um, or if it's a little bit higher on the mosquito meter, just don't forget that bug spray. <laughs> Very much so. Where are we heading? We are heading down the boardwalk. So where is that on the map? Let's see. I see boat landing. Well, the visitor center is right here. That's where we just were a minute ago. I found the boardwalk. Yep. So that's where we're headed now? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we're going on a trail, it looks like. looking we're at least gonna try to look at this and what else what's on there um what else we're also gonna be looking for a snake and an anole which is a kind of lizard type thing oh wait i actually saw one of those when we were down there by the visitor center can i go and check it out yep if you saw one i'm kind of hoping we don't see the snake well let's at least see the snake at a safe distance <laughs> Thank you. 